Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of incorporating images into your Figma wireframe. It's time to elevate our low file wireframe to a more impressive state by transforming it into a high file interactive wireframe. Before I dive into those enhancements, this video will focus on the essential steps of how to add images to our project. There are a few different methods for adding an image. Personally, I still appreciate the simplicity of Adobe XD's drag and drop features for placing images into shapes. Figma, on the other hand, takes a unique approach to these tasks. Drag and drop, precisely that. Grab an image and drag it into Figma. Once there, you have the flexibility to reshape or resize it. Remember to hold the shift key to maintain proportional resizing. You have the option to copy and paste an image using keyboard shortcuts, Command C for Mac, Control C for PC, followed by Command V for Mac, or con Control V for PC to paste. Just like the drag and drop method, you can then freely reshape or resize the pasted image. Another method is to navigate to the main menu, represented by the F icon, then scroll to File, Place an Image. Locate your image in the dialog that appears and click Place to add to your project. Command Shift K for the Mac, Control Shift K for the PC. However, in my opinion, the easiest method is to choose your shape. Click on the fill swatch on the right and then select the image icon. It should switch to a checkerboard pattern. From here, you can pick your desired image, locate it, and watch as it automatically fill your shape. You also have the option to fine tune the exposure, contrast, and saturation of your image using the sliders provided. The beauty of this process is its non destructive nature, ensuring that that these adjustments won't override the original properties, thus allowing you to revert back to the original state if needed. Within the fill option, the other terms are fit, crop, and tile. Fill fills the entire shape. Fit, like fill, ensures that the image covers the shape, but unlike fill, it won't extend beyond the shape's boundaries. Resizing the shape will never result in cropping or hiding the image. It stays consistently visible. When the crop tool is used, you can modify the boundary lines highlighted in blue. While the content inside remains unchanged, any portion of the image beyond these boundaries are concealed and will not be shown. Next up is tile, which happens to be my least favorite. This option essentially repeats the same image to fill the shape. If needed, you can tweak the size by adjusting the percentage value next to the tile option, thereby altering the dimensions of the tile images. There you have it. In Figma, there are multiple ways to add images, including drag and drop, copying and pasting, and using the main menu. You can also fill shapes with images by selecting the shape, clicking the fill swatch, choosing the image icon, and selecting your image. And yes, you can play around with the effects and adjusting how the image fills the shape. Thanks for watching.